Meet Harshnika. She comes from a town called Bhopal in central India, and she is a vegan. Like many Indians, she chose to be a vegan for multiple reasons. First of all, faith. Vegetarianism is an integral part of many religions, such as Buddhism, Jainism, Taoism, and in Harshnika's case, Hinduism. Second, health. It is scientifically proven that a vegetarian diet can reduce risk of heart diseases, cancer, and diabetes. Third, culture. In some parts of India, children are brought up being vegetarians. People may also become vegetarians for other reasons. For example, avoid toxic food contaminants, reduce global warming, animal protection, and there's always personal preference. They just don't like meat. You may think that vegetarianism is synonym with saying goodbye to meat, but it's actually more than that. Fruitarianism permits only fruit, nuts, seeds, and other plant matter that can be gathered without harming a plant. This is where Steve Jobs' "Stay hungry, stay foolish" start to make sense. Lacto-vegetarianism includes dairy products but not eggs. Ovo-vegetarianism includes eggs but not dairy products. Ovo-lacto-vegetarianism includes animal dairy products such as eggs, milk, and honey. And at last, veganism. It excludes all animal flesh and byproducts such as milk, honey, and eggs, as well as items refined or manufactured through any such products. Veganism has really caught on with Hollywood celebrities and political figures, with Ellen DeGeneres, Peter Dinklage, and Bill Clinton holding the banner. Think you got it?